Today is the day that we've all been waiting for. Steve is finally in Smash. And today I'm just going to kind of do a review and just show you guys his moves and what I think about him and his very unique moveset. And the thing is, his all his moves aren't like that unique because you can see a lot of them are based off of characters and I'll tell you which ones are but like all of them together and his building stuff and all that makes him really unique so I'm playing this zombie because zombie is by far the best um, variant of Steve you can have like there's also Enderman then we just have basic Steve here and um, yeah so the first thing you'll notice is as soon as you play as Steve, um, when you just press your B, you expect some kind of attack, but he just starts digging up materials. And I find just um, this is really helpful. It's like you see, I get diamonds and gold sometimes. And then what you do is you go and press the same button over here near your crafting table, and you'll get like whatever your best material is of that um, item for whatever. So. And now this is, I find it's really good. The one problem is that um, I've played this on the Minecraft stages, whatever, and it all depends on what's underneath. So this stage, it's all the same. So it's completely like randomly generated, which is fair. Like there's other stages that are purely just made out of wood. So your chances of getting diamonds and that stuff are less. And on the Minecraft stage, there's a bit of, everything which is I find more annoying than like I find it's easier if there's just one thing that everyone can get or just at least the Steve can get um, and on the Minecraft stage you have to go like oh here's an iron spot I should go here or like there's a instead of this dirt spot here and that's um, a really annoying part but um yeah his crafting table you can destroy others crafting tables if you really want to, they'll like appear in like a few seconds. Yeah, just like that. You can also move your crafting table by shield and B. So like wherever you might go. And I completely failed going to that side. But if you want to go here, you can just go like this and your crafting table is over here. Okay, so he has his minecart move, which is, I find, pretty good because you can jump out and get other people stuck in it, and it is very helpful. His sword attack is pretty basic, but you can get people stuck in it like this pretty easily, so it's pretty good. Yeah, and your swords will run out eventually, so you gotta just go back and dig some more stuff like this, and then go like this and then just upgrade now um, he has an anvil attack for his down smash which is fairly good a TNT there which you can place redstone and stuff but I haven't learned how to actually use that properly because I find it's difficult and like you are actually gonna have to play Steve for a while I think to find out how to do that properly so I can't show you how it's done properly. What you can do though is move into an attack with your sword or whatever, or I th it might turn into your pickaxe. I'm not sure. I think it's your sword if your sword is out, but I'm, I'm really not sure. Anyway, and then of course is building. All you do is press B as you're in air. Find it's kind of hard to do like we like. It showed them building actual stuff like that. I find it's kind of hard to do that. Like, just because, well, what? I just find that Steve and his mining thing, also I was playing a match hatch um, with my brother, and he was just playing as, um, he went on random and got another character, and I found when you're doing a 1v1, it's insanely hard to gather materials without them absolutely like smacking you when you're trying to get those materials because 
you know, if it's in a 1v1, they're not fighting anyone. It's a bit easier when it's not 1v1, but it's still difficult to do that and upgrade because upgrading, as you saw, does take some time. Now, another thing is his grab is fishing rod just like Isabel's, and then if you smack them inside the fence post enough, it will go into a piston and um, pretty much destroy them. I'm going to go kill this Steve real quick because he's bugging me on this side of the stage. Excellent. Okay, so now as you saw, I just used the Elytra. So what you really do is it's just a basic up special. You boost up. What you can do is you can go down and glide up. And when I saw the direct, I was kind of worried you, it was going to be continuous, but it's not because your Elytra falls off eventually, which thank goodness they put that in there because or else Steve would just be too powerful. It's down. Okay, apparently that's how you do the redstone. Uh, <laughs> and it's down special here is just to light things on fire, which I find is pretty decent. Now the thing about Steve though is just he's very different. He doesn't move like normal characters. Like look at this, like an average jump would get a character on to this platform, but Steve has to use both his jumps. So, and he's kind of difficult to recover with, but then again his blocks um, are pretty useful for that. And what I'm kind of sad about is I tested this out earlier, so if you jump place jump place a block, you can go up and then there's a block limit, right? Right here. But what kind of... I thought at first that to make this character balanced, um, they would have, like, so you can go so many blocks high up, up, but that's it, like, maybe only, like, five or six blocks, you know? And then you, uh... You know, then you're um, done no matter where you are, but they don't let you do that, so which kind of makes me sad because now recoveries, if you have enough blocks, are fairly easy. But then again, it is difficult to actually have time to just do this because your opponents won't just be, you know, sitting there. Or at least shouldn't be. So if I go down here, yeah, the recovery is pretty much all the way up to there if you want. Also, people have said you're probably able to block people off from recovering. I have not tested that out. I'm sure it's possible. I'll see if I can get this Enderman to recover at the right spot. Not Okay, that did not help. <laughs> Anyway, and now we have to go to probably everyone's favorite part of the video. Not that. Uh, it's time for the almighty taunts. So first we have this basic, you know, anyone who's played Minecraft or you know, Minecraft with a second person knows that this is, yeah, I'm not, it's like friendship or truce, but it is well known in the Minecraft world, so I'm really glad that it's a taunt. We have you just eating beef, which I'm sure a lot of vegans will be upset about that taunt. Then we just have this basic one. I kind of think that they could have had something better than this, but, you know, we got this, so it's good. And another thing is this Enderman just does not look right. Like, it also kind of disappoints me that if you go like this, see, there's just a different variant of Alex. Like, they could have the one Alex, but I think they could have had a lot of potential to add, like, skeleton or 
um, a pigman or, you know, all those other mobs that could. Because if a zombie's in, like, I thought as soon as I saw zombie, oh, they're going to do, like, zombie and, like, all the other mobs and stuff instead. Like, mobs with arms, like skeleton, pigman, maybe a pigling, you know, a drown, maybe even a villager. Like, but they just did other variants, which is kind of disappointing, but, you know, what are you going to do? Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, I'm Cheesy Moose, and I will see you.